Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I am so glad that you are joining me on what is finally a very sunny morning. Let's sing a quick song to welcome everyone that has joined us. If you know it, sing along. If you don't, you can dance and clap. Ready? Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? God loves you today. Thank you for singing with me. Today is the fifth Sunday of Lent. So we still have our purple out for Lent. And remember, during our sneak peeks, we're doing something a little bit different for Lent. We're looking at just one story from the day's service. So, as we get ready for Easter in this Lenten season, today we'll look at the second reading from our service about Jeremiah. Now, the reading for today is partway through Jeremiah. We're going to talk about a little bit more of the story of Jeremiah. So when you hear that reading today, you can think and know about even more that happened. Are you ready? Have you ever felt like you had something really important to say, but didn't know how to say it? What if you say the wrong thing? or someone gets mad. It can be scary to speak up, even when you know it's important. Jeremiah was a prophet. A prophet is someone who delivers God's message to God's people. Jeremiah worried that he didn't have the right words to say to God's people. And Jeremiah was worried that he was too young to share this message. But God said, Jeremiah, I know you. I knew you even before you were born. You can say these important words to my people. But Jeremiah was scared. Jeremiah thought, oh no, I, I don't think I can do it. I don't know how to talk like that. But God knew Jeremiah was the right person for the job. God said to Jeremiah, go, speak, do not be afraid. I am with you. I will help you find the right words. Jeremiah listened and trusted God. Being a prophet was not an easy job. Jeremiah spoke hard words to God's people. Some people became angry. They didn't want to hear Jeremiah telling them that they were not being kind to one another. Jeremiah told them, change your ways, say you're sorry, listen to God. But people didn't want to hear it. So Jeremiah was put in jail. But Jeremiah didn't give up. Jeremiah knew that he was doing the right thing. He knew he needed to be God's voice. God was with him. God also had a message of hope for the people. Jeremiah told them, God is going to make a new promise with you. This promise will be for everyone, the youngest and the oldest. God promises to love all of you. You are God's people, each and every one of you. God will forgive you. What message do you think the world needs to hear right now? What do you see around you that reminds you of God's promise to love you? I've been thinking about hard messages this week. This week, a man in Georgia did something terrible. 
He killed eight people, and it was very sad. Six of those eight people were Asian American, and seven of those eight people were women. Sometimes the same people are hurt over and over and over again, and our world doesn't want to talk about it. Like in today's story, where people became angry when Jeremiah told them the truth. But God promises to love all of us, and God gives us the strength to say hard things and do hard things and to listen to those around us. When we do that, when we say the truth about what has happened or what is happening, we have a chance to look at our words and our actions. We have a chance to be better and to support each other. So thinking of that strength in your heart, if you have your activity eggs for Lent 5, you can open them up. Now, if you have a little brother or a little sister or a little sibling that is young enough, they might still put small things in their mouths. You have to be very careful with today's object. We have a heart. I like to use wooden objects like this to just hold or I like to rub them and feel how smooth they are as I say a prayer or as I think about the strength that God gives me in my heart. So thinking about that strength, would you close for me today with Down in My Heart? This is also the last hymn we'll sing in today's worship service. If you wanna dance, you can get up, or you can sing, or dance in your spot if you wanna get up. Are you ready? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. I. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. <laughs> I promise it'll be just as fun, or maybe more fun, during the worship service today. Have a great Sunday. Goodbye.